Welcome to another edition of uh, English Bilingualism 101 with uh, Dr. Vargis and Matthew Vargis. So today uh, we make a concluding uh, uh, lecture and today's uh, uh, topic uh, is, you know, how can we implement the English Bilingual project in the class, in a, uh, in a classroom situation? Or a, a learner, when he or she want to learn uh, this method, what he has to, she has to do. This is uh, <clears throat> what I discussed in the in uh, from since the beginning of this uh, uh, talks, and uh, we have to make one uh, thing very clear that uh, we are not using our mother tongue as the basic thought language. Our language of thought is not the mother tongue. The language of thought is, in fact, a, a language that is available for us being humans. And I have described that in my uh, work book, as mentally is so or mind language. And the mind language is actually working uh, as a as a mechanism that help us to 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 think. And as I explained very clearly, only humans can think uh, out of all the living beings. And it can think, it can create uh, what they have thought as data. Uh, they can use language to store those data uh, as writing material uh, or for thinking further by other people. Uh, we can uh, uh, teach what we want, what we already understood. Uh, we can discuss all these are abilities that is that are <clears throat> abilities that are available only for the humans so humans have the ability to think and thinking language uh, is same for everyone not only not 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 uh, separate for sub, uh, separate different type of people and that is what is uh, i explained as mentalist uh, nobody have mostly nobody. I mean, this knowledge is there uh, for thousands of years, but nobody may have uh, not used this as a method to teach a language. And in that way, this is a pioneering work. The same idea was expressed by uh, uh, Chomsky, for example. He was explaining when he explained universal grammar, the grammar that, the language that uh, transcend uh, culture and all those things. He really meant that uh, we have a common uh, language to think. And he understood uh, the uh, universal grammar as a, uh, as a benchmark for uh, thinking. Uh, and we uh, use particular languages or particular grammar to speak a particular language. So it means that somebody use the universal grammar to create a thought and then he will use a particular language like English or uh, uh, Japanese or Hindi or all these things that language uh, to communicate. Né? But uh, uh, he never used the term mentalist. And mentalist was used uh, uh, much earlier. Uh, if you really dig up, uh, the term was coined by uh, Porphyry in uh, 4th century, a Neoplatonic thinker. Uh, then many Christian thinkers from Augustine to Scotus uh, uh, understood that there is the language uh, through which God speaks to us, and they consider it as a 
uh, is, is the, the mentalist. They used the term mentalist. And uh, so we can use this concept uh, while we are teaching uh, a new language because the idea, the thoughts are same, but you can switch to a language. If you know the necessary tools uh, that is to be used for speaking in a language. Ne? So that is what I, in the previous lecture, I said, a learner should actually appropriate the necessary terms, the, the words, and uh, he also should know how to align words, which in, uh, uh, in, 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 in linguistically they call uh, syntax. Modern linguistic, it says syntax means arranging together. Syntax is a Greek term. That Greek term means arrange together, arrange together our thoughts through words. Right? So this, uh, the procedure of syntax can be used in, for example, in painting. So how you paint, how you use the colors, how you arrange together colors. Huh? Or how you arrange our thought together to make for example, a movie or something like this. So this uh, syntax of a particular language is different from another language, Jap Japanese and English. It's, it's actually opposite. Uh, so we have to train the students, children, uh, to use the syntax of English, and they should not think in the language, this mother tongue. And uh, slowly, we have to train them to develop this uh, this mother tongue independent thinking process that is absolutely necessary uh, for a learner, a, a, a student to use any language. So we have uh, seen that how to uh, think in words and then think in short sentences, and then they should actually understand the alignment of words uh, in a sentence, like how you know subject and verb is aligned, and how the, the formation of the sentence happens. These are things, uh, you, you, theoretically, you can teach. Uh, for example, subject, verb, object, then object complement, subject complement, all these things, you know. But actually, every human being has this ability to structure thoughts into sentences uh, in the language that he or she wanted to speak, you know. That is why a five-year-old child, uh, uh, whom I know I have described about one character, in the in this book, Sakura, baby Sakura could speak five languages when she was just five years old. So what uh, she does or she did is um, is something which every human being can do, uh, because uh, the our 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 brain have a mechanism to create uh, uh, the uh, structure for each language uh, in the in the brain. Uh, as a scholar uh, uh, called Michael Paradis, he has uh, worked on this, how the languages are aligned and structured in the brain and what happens when you... So we have discussed about... Uh, almost all those things, the bilingual ability, what bilingualism does to a speaker or learner. And this is uh, pretty much important uh, uh, for us if you want to teach English in the bilingual pro pro format, where a student will be able to think in English and in Japanese. Uh, directly means he will transfer his or her thoughts from mentalist to uh, English. And that 
ability is inculcated in the uh, in the language using system of uh, a person and this ability uh, since it is inherently available we don't have to to do anything more you just need to work with it and that working procedure uh can be can be can be developed uh and it is a constant process i've been teaching uh, this method for the last uh, 20 years uh and i can confidently say uh, from the uh, you know uh from the uh uh opinion of my students from the testimonials of my students they have all almost all of them have benefited they can they can speak most of them fluently english and japanese if they have followed it well um so um it is workable and i have already explained what we have to do uh, in the classroom section um and you know one of the thing which we uh, do uh, in the class is uh, i make uh, the students to write on a paper and writing on a paper we term as thinking on paper uh, thinking on paper is a term uh, introduced by ludwig uh, wittgenstein in uh, uh, his uh, one of his work and he said that humans can have the ability to think on paper think in the mind think in the brain and all anyway uh, think on paper is a very important thing because when you write something on paper you automatically develop uh, uh, the syntactical procedure without uh, uh, knowing that you are uh, you know Uh, writing something uh, sorry we are you are uh, structuring a sentence and i uh, every every uh, class work i insist my students to write their thoughts uh, directly in in english uh, uh, which help them uh to think in the syntactical procedure of the language uh we should not actually worry about uh, uh, grammatical thought mistake because uh this when we try to understand the syntax it is uh, it is just like you think uh, in your own mother tongue uh without knowing the grammatical rules you will know how to structure sentences so this process uh, since the students are uh, new to learning in, in the language uh, we can actually develop it in their uh, uh, main in the consciousness and that works very well okay and then when they learn to write a proper essay with uh, by structuring the thoughts in a proper order they can do it very very well i have uh, uh, given opportunity for them to write i publish every every year a, 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 a newsletter containing my students writing and in all those work uh, writing uh, i have seen that when they learn to think on paper they develop an internal skill uh to to communicate uh, in the uh, language right? so that is uh, it for today um uh, uh, uh if this come to be useful for you please uh, share it like it and uh, uh, share it with your friends uh, so that it will reach to more people and maybe people will uh, use this method to learn or teach uh, this language uh, uh, let's for today so uh, i 
、スチョールとジャパニーズ、uh, これ、今日の話は、あの、大、uh, 体いい、今まで私たち話したこと、uh, もう一,、uh, 一回、あの uh, uh, 話しておく、それは、私たち考えてる言葉、私たちの,あの,あの国語じゃない、マダータングじゃない、私たちメンタリストというのはあのあ、みんな考えてる言葉で話してる、使ってる、あれは人間の意図す力です。あれ、この情報は、大体多分この本で出版してるけれどもあ、このアイディアは昔からある。ね、あ特別で、チョアンスキーの話の中、あノーム・チョアンスキーの,あのユニバーサル・グラマルというような話と、メンデリスは大体似てる。彼言ってることはみんなユニバーサル・グラマルで考えて、あの別々のグラマルを使って、英語のグラマルを使って、英語を使うときとか、日本語のグラマルを使って、日本語を使うというのか、これやってる。それで、私たちは、あの、言葉、英語と特別で英語を使うとき、直接英語で考えする。日本語から英語にしないってことです。これするとき、あなたいつ,いつも、あの、大変なことを作る。これをやめて、英語で直接考えするとき、あなたの入力を送る。でこれは一番大事なことです。これ、あの、良くならないなら、あ,あの、言葉いつでも使うできなくなる。ね。どのぐらいまで習んでも、ど,どこ行ってもなんでも、あなたたち、英語で考えしないで、ああこの英語あ使うできない、学ぶもできない。あそれで、あの、あの、私たち一番あ学ぶのことというのは、あの、紙の上、考えするというような、ティングオンペーパーというようなこと。Uh, やったら、私たち話したいこと、手で書く。ね、あの、手で書くとき、わからないようにあなたたちに、この英語のシンダックス買うできる。このシンダックス買うというのは一番大事ですね。I go home ですね。私、家に行きますじゃない。I go home。ね。あそう、これ、あの、I go home。これ、日本語で、私、家に、ホーム、行きます。ね、この、順番、簡単に、書いて書いて学ぶでき。I eat dinner. I play with my friends. Like, こういうような順番、本土で使って書くとき、この考えはペーパーでやる。ね。それで学んだら、これをよくで,できたら、あなたたちに作文書くときも簡単に、あの、あ,あの、関連度は作るできる。これは一番大事な問題のこと,ことです。特別日本人に見たら書くとき日本語で全文文章作ってこれを英語に訳してこれであの<笑>文法のことをいっぱい心配してこれで言葉学ぶできないああいうの場合そうこれをあちょっと考えてくださいそれで今日の話終わるこれ、あなたたちに、今度、まあ、みんな友達とか、ちょっとシェアしてください、このビデオ。それ、あの、サブスクライブも作ってください。それで、あ,あなたたち、私、なんか、新しいビデオ入れたら、あなたの方に、えー、来るようになる。
So uh, that's it for today. And uh, we will meet uh, in the next lecture. Uh, till then, goodbye. Uh, Nicole. Oh, okay.